Today I have this lady again with me, the, the Xiao Zha Bo to do, to do a, Only you can do that, a lot of seriously that all the Gu Niang, they will not do this kind of activity So she will be like, uh, paddle kayak with me and then was uh, around Ubin if I'm not wrong And then also cycling around Ubin uh, We are coming here to this uh, adventure island detour, right? <laughs> Let me find the name, you can see the, the website here to make the booking it's a very cool activity for person like us. We love outdoor activity. We love water sports. She is a mermaid also. And then uh, let's see how this activity go. I will share with you that how we pedal around, how we uh, do all everything. So let's go to the office. It's search to be right over here. Here it is. Uh, less than one minute walk, and we reach to the office to uh, register. It's a beautiful hut, and let's look for my guide. Okay, should be right inside. Currently, we are having a briefing now, and then we are be together in a big group like this. Briefing is very, very clear. Done the briefing. The next thing we're going to do is like, to keep our stuff inside this area, so you don't have to bring too many things to a lot uh, together with you. So here it is. Everyone can just leave their belongings right over here. After you put the belongings, then come over here to collect your life jacket and then we'll go out to the water side. The kayak, there are one person and two person kayak, something like that. Um, so if let's say you come together with your friends, you can have the kayak like this. Some clients actually like to sit closer to each other, so they take the child seat and the other one sit in front. But I'll let you guys decide. But um, normally, uh, what we always do is the person in front, which is the one I would say the engine, will sit over here and behind. The captain of the ship, the stronger one, the one that's going to um, have more control of the direction of the boat. They will sit here behind. The first pair is going to pick up their kayak now. But short exercise before the main big exercise. Okay. So let me show you the way that you're supposed to leave your kayak around here first and then everyone will go up together. Now you have to collect your kayak. So this is a single kayak and then that's how you bring out your kayak. Actually not bad, it's not really that heavy but it's good enough for you to warm up your muscle a little bit. So everyone's are gathering right over here now and then we'll go to the shop. It's just a very short walk and then we are coming to this shop and wait for more briefing and everyone will go together. We're going to bring our kayak near to the shop and then I can see there are some uh, briefing technique uh, teaching over here. So we'll make sure everyone go to the water safe. Before we start the practice, everything, everyone go down to feel the water, the temperature, and then make sure that you're okay with the temperature. And then, uh, yep, so make sure you have your aqua shoe, will be perfect for you. Squat down, lean back, and then make sure your hands are up and your feet are up. So just Here comes the most boring part of the journey, sharing of how to pedal a little bit. But this, I can assure you, is one of the most important things because if you don't, if you don't catch um, the proper techniques of how to pedal, you realize that later on your kayak will kind of like move like a snake. It will go to the left and to the right and to the left and to the right. You can read the word harmony. If you can read the word harmony, which in the right geometry means that um, you are holding it correctly. So let me just do a quick check and see if anyone is paying attention. All right, perfect. The quick uh, briefing, done all the practice and know the skill to paddle better and we are ready to go into the water. Time to go! Okay, that's how you go for a two-person kayak. Mary, okay, what you want to do is Mary, sit over here first, sit in and then swing your legs in. Awesome! Okay, uh, yourself. Marilyn will demonstrate how to get on the single kayak. Alright. This is the first time for me for single. This is your first time? For single kayak. Oh dear, you oh need dear. more balance on this kayak. Okay. Single kayak. <laughs> Alright, so I'll just share with you how you're going to get in first. So you just want to sit in first and then swing your legs in. Okay. Should you do that for me please? Awesome. That's very easy. 
Looks easy, right? It's very calm, very comfortable. Uh, the group, they already go far away and then we are a little bit slow. And we spot a hornbill right over there. Marilyn's like trying to go nearer to have a spot of the hornbill. The water is very, very clean and um, I'm very happy that it's not too hot yet. <laughs> so let's go to the mangrove area. Stop over here at the Geelong area. Uh, waiting for Marilyn at the back and would like to show you how the Geelong looks like it's quite calm and uh, just now when there's a speedboat crashing towards me then uh, up front the the guy is actually like tell me warn me then like alert me which I feel very safe after that and uh, it's still calm it's still quite safe for everyone to do the paddling around here it's not that scary at all so when you come together with the group and you feel comfortable still surviving perfect weather very very calm uh, sea and uh, you can see that thing standing up on the water do join this tour then uh, your guide will let you know the story about this something i don't know and you might not know and we are going to the mangrove now we have to make a small little detour because it's high tide now we are going there and then go out and then we'll meet the group over there now i'm at the sungai jolotong now very beautiful and very calm area and i can see the people are doing the sup for fishing and then uh, do you enjoy it <laughs> easy right not difficult right yeah so we are going slightly inside to the Sungai Jelutong, the mangrove, and then we'll show you more about the experience. So over here, uh, there's a dog will say hello to you by barking. Woo, woo, woo. Then, uh, <laughs> so we are actually turning to the mangrove and then we go over there. We are going to have a quick break. It's at the Ama drink store. And then after that, we have to stay hydrated for ourselves. Then we continue our journey. We are relaxing at this uh, lagoon now very very peaceful it don't feel like in uh, Singapore I feel like I'm in uh, somewhere in a uh, tropical country but not in Singapore <laughs> it's very nice uh, I was told that that is the dead end and then we will just have a quick break over here then we will go to the Ama store for a hydration boost and uh, there are more people coming in now very lucky that uh, just now saw the eagle catching the fish in front of us small fish and now we saw something like kingfisher but uh afram was saying that it's not a kingfisher slightly thinner uh not not the bright blue bird was flying in front of us like catching some bug and i also saw some of the uh eagle nets just right behind the tree I love this place very much. It's very quiet and then uh, very peaceful and calm. I feel recharged. All those are having a kayaking around uh, the jetty area until over here. We all are here. I'm waiting for Marilyn to come out for a hydration boost. This is the Ama drink store. The guide will uh, assist you to come out from the water. Here is a natural toilet, uh, everything dumped into the water. So when you see something floating around there, be careful. Um, let me show you around the Amas drink store. We are having a can of beer and a coconut. Two of that is $10. And over here, it's have a lot of cute dog and uh, very nice friendly people around here. We will have about 10 to 15 minutes uh, rest over here. And the dogs here are very friendly. You can just uh, play with the dog. And so here it is, the Ama drink store. It looks quite uh, cozy for you to have a good rest while over here and uh, lots of pictures. How is the coconut? Yeah, so refreshing. <laughs> is that very difficult for you so far? No, it's been fun. Good not, weather also. Yeah, not, not tired at all, right? Uh, the water is very calm. Yeah, so maybe later I check with Afran see whether the, uh, they able to share with us how in touch you in case that we capsize, how we get up on the boat and uh, maybe you'll be the model. <laughs> 
<laughs> just like you fall down, then because that uh, when you fall in the water, it's quite difficult to get up to a kayak. Okay, I'll check with <laughs> Afran. Actually, find shells of other snail and then make it into their home. Uh, yeah. So, so this guy is pretty huge inside. Doesn't want to come out. Uh. And then the smaller ones are usually the less shy, and then they will come out and roam around. So they, they are quite lucky that uh, Afran found some uh, hermit crab in a beautiful okay, snail. Over there if you want to take a look. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, like, lucky day that uh, your guide will show you that what he can find. Okay, I'm going to try to use the natural toilet and <laughs> if someone is there, you can see the dump is all go to the river. So, uh, on, uh, this <laughs> the <laughs> store owner told me that you only can pee, you cannot poo in this toilet. After a quick break, we are having, we are all like burst out our energy to like paddle more. We are actually heading back to our site and ooh! Okay, quite close. <laughs> Marilyn is still at the back. That she's uh, taking her time to enjoy the view. We really, really love it. And I uh, want to share with you that just now when we pee on the natural toilet, for men, you enjoy the first class view when you pee. Now, for women, you have to squat down unless you can stand up and pee. Everyone come back safe. And then Marilyn is still right at the back. So very comfortable, right? So I'm going to share with you that what we're going to do next. Everyone have to carry the kayak all the way here for them to uh, rinse up the kayak. Thank you Afran, thank you Bernard. And let me show you the shower facility. Damn cool. So what I need to do is like, uh, it's like a canvas uh what they call cubicle and then you just rinse like this that's a chair for you to put your bags uh so that it is after this uh we are going for lunch we'll share the tips with you about the kayaking then we we'll go for cycling now we have some time for lunch then we'll go back for cycling so tips for the kayaking is i will say that you have to bring an aqua shoe. Did you have the shoe with yeah, you? I Mine's yeah. a scuba booty, but I think it works as well. Mm. Mm. And then I think don't really need to bring water. It's totally fine. Because actually we have a point to stop by at the Ama drink store to drink. I had a can of beer. It's fine with me. Any tips you want to share with them? Mm, I think it's... I think it's quite a well planned trip. Oh yes, yes. So they plan the, yeah. the tights accordingly. They so which means that uh, the Bernard, Bernard and Afran were saying that they actually plan when we depart, they have to make sure there's no ferry come in to create a way for us to paddle out. And then uh, that also that high tide, during the high tide, the wave will actually flow in. So it's easier for us to like uh, paddle into the mangrove. And then after that, there is the low tide from after the drinks then the tide will flow out so it also help us to like yeah. uh, so go out both ways in return and to the the tide is uh, along the our direction so mm. it makes it easy to kayak then uh, we are quite lucky we saw the eagle to catch the fish did you not did yeah, you saw that <laughs> and then we saw otters eating the fish we were told by the guy was saying that the otter in Singapore are very picky they only eat the head and then they throw away the entire body and we also saw some fish like jumping out uh, that's a there's a thing about that you can come over here join the tour and then to check with the guide why the fish jumping out and what else we saw oh we also saw the monkey the crab eating monkey the make long tail make and then uh, tips for you that you have to wear a cap <laughs> a hat is very important or a shade because that uh, when we actually paddle out the sun comes out it's like quite shine out it's quite tiring for your eye and then um, the when the time we paddle out the current is uh, actually a little bit strong it's quite tiring for me to like paddle back and when the sun is out it's quite tiring uh, I love the part that they actually have the shower facility there like you show I showed you earlier then uh, beside the the meeting point there's a restaurant that we are here now we enjoy our lunch uh, until to something maybe we can start early then we will go for the cycling trip so far the youngest kids for join, joining the kayak was about prime, uh, kindergarten so they were saying that as long they can fit into their smaller sides of the life jacket then they were able to let the kids to uh, do the kayaking and the oldest is 70, 70, 70. 70 yeah. Yeah. so far uh, I think is anyone also can do it as long as you're not afraid with the uh, water uh, if you can't swim it's fine they will make sure that 
go near to you. And one important tip for you is like when you come over here, choose the pedal, the kayak with two person, which means that when you're tired, actually you can let the next one to pedal for you. Were you struggling when you pedal back? Yeah, a little bit. The current was stronger. Yeah, so, I was far behind. <laughs> So that's a tip for you that if you're tired, the, let the next one to pedal, at least I can go quite fast. And the single kayak that what we did is actually slightly uh, tricky because it's smaller, it's easy to capsize. So I actually asked them that what happened if they capsize happen and actually they'll say they, they'll tell you what to do. <laughs> so, uh, so far that no any capsize happen on our trip and they were saying that it's quite little chance to get capsize. So hope you like this kayak thing and then we will have our lunch then we go for cycling. Part two. Part two. <laughs> Part two yeah. This is what we are having, the Mui Fan, fried egg with the minced meat, Eman and the fried squid. This is the best that we had. It looks like cauliflower but it's very delicious. Just had a good lunch and then a great coffee. Now we are heading for our cycling at 2 p.m. We are going to meet Moti. I was told that a very smart guy can speak different types of the languages. So I'm going to test his language skill. So let's go back to the place to get myself changed. Now we are heading to our cycling path. Uh, she got her bike and we actually like, start from this point. Walk from uh, that beautiful hut over here to collect our bike. So today our guide will be Muti. So uh, I was told that he's a very talented person to speak in different languages. So uh, I guess you can speak German. I only know good and long. Ah, thank you. Bitte Alles klar. Oh, good. Got a short briefing from Muti and then talk about monkey. So very important tips that uh, you, if you want to know what not to do to the monkey, join this tour. Sometimes you are lucky you can find wild boar uh, browsing along during low tide. Huh? They look for what we call seagrass, find uh, some food. Huh? So, yeah. German girl shrine should be like part of your bucket list where you need to take. If you have not taken your German girl shrine, it's like incomplete. Huh? Yeah, because there's a lot of folklore, uh, a bit of legend, then a little bit of interest intrigue eh? and you know, to keep you going eh? yeah so like i say eh? then here and then maybe go there but i think you all will be able you all, all come we have a stop right over here, talk about the Instagramable tree by Muti and then we are heading to the next stop. So it's very cool that he showed the signal that it's going to turn to the left. And of course over here that uh, we will strongly recommend you to wear helmet but uh, <laughs> we are being naughty, not not want to wear helmet, we prefer a hat. Now we are having a stop right over here and then Muti is like, teaching, telling us about the story over here and you can see it over there. There's a platform to attract birds. So we have a quick stop right over here, back to the Ama store. Uh, amazing toilet here. You must try to pee pee there. No poo, yeah. So, uh, Muti, talk about this bridge. It's called. It's something like a controlling the water. Uh, last time it used to be a prawn farm, and then it'll be blocked the, the water, and then the prawn will not escape from this lagoon. So when you come uh, bicycle tour with Moti, you will learn a lot, little bit of the historical item as well. And uh, along the way, you see beautiful flower. And I saw a huge dragonfly over here. Can you see that? It's huge. We are right over here to stop for a beautiful view over here. Uh, it's kind of like a Buddhism thing from the Tibetan. Uh, there was a monkey over here just now but it's already gone so I can actually go slightly inside to show you the beautiful view. We are heading for a short little trek to a popular and famous place that everyone come to uh, Pulau Obin they will go there to have a few photo and I just found out this place recent year uh, during the COVID a lot of people try up to take beautiful photo so Mati will show Mati Mati Muti Mati Mati <laughs> Muti will show us the way now are you ready to see a beautiful view just about like three minutes walk from the way we park our bike ready one two three Ta da 
it is really popular so a lot of people they really cycling all the way here to take photo of this beautiful view so uh, it have a lot of backlight now but if you come over here to see with your beautiful eye then you can see how even beautiful <gasps> It's beautiful, right? It's totally still. Yep, it's beautiful, right? I think it's a marking thing for floating thing. So you climb up a little bit more, then you can come over here to catch a beautiful view over here. There is a host right on this rock. There is a story behind this. Do come over here and then Moti will tell you why there is a hole on uh, the rock. We are here at the German girl's shrine. It looks something like this. Sadly that they are already locked the door let me try see maybe it can open <laughs> it's locked and uh muti is actually telling us about the story about the german girl so if you're interested to know about the story it's either you can google it or you can join the tour <laughs> and then uh, here it is a very very uh, relaxed calm peaceful area and just now we saw a huge home build over there um they will muti will also tell you about the story of this area because uh, if you look over here at the name of this street jalan kebun kopi german uh, if you look carefully you see a word kopi and German, then you should be able to know there's something about coffee and German here. Just done all our cycling and then we come to this huge dog. Very, very big. And uh, it was a fun experience for us to go for the cycling and also for the kayaking. Very, very tired now. It's 5 p.m. now. We had a big, about like 14 minutes break at the cafe, a coffee shop beside them. Low tide now heading back so uh are you still alive uh, after all this uh, exercise very alive <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy i need to i need to sleep already i'm so sleepy uh for the cycling part we did not um, do it do it very very uh what you call excitement <laughs> we were tired a little bit and then but we learned a lot from Muti about uh the name of pulau bin uh, we went to a lot of places that to take beautiful photos. Uh, we learned a lot of the general knowledge from Muti. Muti. Yeah, and she. Some history of uh, like the German girl. Oh, I? yeah. Like... So sadly that the temple is not open, but we still think that. Did you manage to speak inside how it looks like? No, I couldn't see the Barbie doll. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, actually. There is a Barbie doll inside the German girl shrine. So if you're lucky enough, you can see that. Uh, tips for you to uh, come over here to bring some drinking water. But we did not bring much water. I drink a lot of beer. <laughs> coconut. Uh, coconut. Coconut. And then we did not have ice cream. But you can go to get ice cream there. Uh, bring a, sh a towel to shower. After all the activity, go for a shower. Very, very short. It's a very important thing, right? Yeah. 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 Then, um, maybe mix a shampoo if you need to uh, deep cleaning. Then, uh, you don't really need to bring food here. You don't really need to bring a lot of drinking water. But bring extra clothes. Bring underwear. <laughs> and then bring bra. <laughs> and then, because uh, you might sweat a lot. If you have a new set, it's going to be better for you. So, uh, hmm, anything you want to add on? Anything tips you want to tell anyone? I think we reached here this morning about 9. Now it's 5. five yeah. So, we had 3 hours of... Rest, Good, yeah, uh -huh. and two hours, two hours of lunch. Yeah, so just nice. Mm. You can reach at night, that would be good. Yeah. You can end around oh. time. And we are quite lucky then, uh, going to take the ferry now to uh, reach to the number of the people. So, with that, we hope you like this video. We hope that you learn a lot. We hope that you come to join this activity. Yep. Yeah, join the tour, they, they give a lot of insights of the <laughs> islands. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Okay, goodbye. Bye.